cool kids. Are you guys ready for this? I don't know if you are. We're going to do a sweet compare and contrast between Dolger's Marvelous Miniatures, The Falling Star, Sailing Ship, and eh, a little other option sold by a different company. Sophie's Revenge, heroic scale pirate ship. And I'm going to set that one up off camera and then we'll begin our compare and contrast. All right, cool kids. So to be fair, I took the mask down on, uh, on the falling star. And now we're going to take a closer look and really dig in. Let's see what's different. So, both of these models require paint. But the big difference is going to be the durability. So, I've already had this piece break on me right here real flimsy crap and then you got well cardboard yeah cardboard kids you not cardboard see that that's cardboard guys and uh the price point actually this one costs less. Uh, the uh, Reaper model costs less. Now they both need paint and they both require assembly, which I haven't you know totally done justice to yet. but the amount of detail, Now, to be fair, they do have cannon doors, so that's cool. Um, there's an anchor that hangs off of there. That's pretty neat. So it's not all bad. It's not all bad. The main problem you're going to have is the cardboard. It's kind of a it's kind of a deal breaker, man. And it costs more. There is one big advantage though this this boat has. It's available. <laughs> this one, if you miss the Kickstarter, you don't get it. Um, like they're not gonna produce this. I think this is about 130 bucks. I don't know what it's running now. Uh, be very careful with the Falling Star. Um, it's uh, very delicate. It is not made of sturdy material. Um, Sophie's Revenge, on the other hand, is pretty tough. It's bone stuff. Got some pretty neat details on it. That, uh, you know, when you paint it up, it's got texture. This has some texture on the plastic parts, but other than that, you're kind of stuck. Not nearly the detail, right? There is some ornate right there. I mean, there it's not without charm. 
uh, side by side. So imagine you're you're running a campaign, and you, you know these two ships run into each other. I mean, they're perfectly serviceable, so I'll give it that. My main problem with this is the durability and the cardboard and the price point. But as far as design, it's it's acceptable. It's it's not bad. It's not terrible. And I will say I like the uh, front end here with the dragon. That's uh, in the the anchor which hooks in here. You know, I had it hooked in there. Anyway, that's cool. Um, you know, it's got some cool features, but like I said, it's bright, it's broken. I got, I have two brakes already, and one of the masts broke. They're very flimsy. Let me show you that. So right here on the crow's nest, yeah, that just popped right off bad break had to glue it back and I I don't trust it I mean I wouldn't let it sit here and show you it's fixed by flexing it because it's just going to snap off again uh, this piece right here this is so flimsy it's, a, it's, it's not even as thick as my fingernail the plastic holding this together and it's removable There's a, it's not now I had to glue it in place you know but it doesn't really need to be If I'm doing something in the poop deck, I'll just grab a map, separate, yeah, captain's quarters, whatever, you know, whatever we're dealing with, where we need to go. I'm not tearing this thing apart because it, it, it's integrally, it's incapable of su it's sustaining its form without breaking. And I wasn't being rough with it. You know, it'd be different if I was like slamming it around and stuff. I was being delicate. So this thing's just flimsy. But, uh, you know, which one's cooler? Uh, this does have doors and cannons and all this. And I do own the WizKids cannons. So if you guys want to see, you know, like cannons poking out the portholes and such uh, or whatever. I, mean, I know some uh, maritime master is going to keel haul me for, you know, <laughs> misnaming some part of the boat. Uh, ship, sorry, see, there you go. Big trouble for me. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed our little compare and contrast. This is Wiz Kids versus Reaper. And like I said, uh, if I remember right, this was 100 bucks even. And this was like 130, 140 bucks. Um, both require paint though, so be ready to really pay for some paint. <laughs> this is going to take a lot of paint to paint this stuff. And, uh, you know, you'll want to remove the cardboard pieces where you paint this. You don't want to get any paint on your pretty cardboard. And uh, you do have two options on the cardboard. The decks either have squares or without squares. And, of course, that is uh, that is an advantage to an extent, except that you're dealing with cardboard, because you do have grid squares on this. There's no grid squares on this. However, um, there are some grid squares right here. And... Actually, you can see they're, they're, they are marked. It's just not. So they are there. Yeah, you know, like it wouldn't be hard to figure out where the, the one inch grid square is on any of this. So, yeah. So that's a neat. Actually, that, that, that makes me like it even more. See this? The grid squares are there. They're just not exactly squares. They're kind of disguised. So, you know. Definitely got marks, though to mark here yeah so you can still do grid squares now i did buy these uh for more than just um D, &D. um i also got them for rum and bones the board game uh which comes with uh cardboard boards which are ships and this would be a nice 3d effect so that's cool anyway i know you guys with the 3d printers are making this stuff let me know in the comments what's up because I, I haven't messed with the 3D printer game yet. Anyway, peace out. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.